<clears throat> Yo, what's going on, sexy Samuel Squad? My hair is an absolute beast of a mess right now, but you know what day it is? Try our Thursday, baby. Try our Thursday. So, you know, everyone's favorite day, mine included. I uh, got a little bit of a story to tell you. <clears throat> I had, I don't know if you guys could see it while I was recording yesterday because it was a bit small. I had, a, I had a, like a, a zit right on the edge of my lip, my bottom lip and my skin. And Jesus, it hurt. It actually, like it hurt so much that I actually ended my stream because of it. <laughs> I was, I was streaming and I actually ended my stream because it was that painful. And then I was like, I can't, I can't touch it. Like it just hurts so much. And so I did what any sane person would do. And I gripped my teeth and I ripped it off. And it hurt. And it bled a whole lot. But that's not the end of the story. That's the beginning, my boys. That's the beginning of this story. Because... Hold on. Mez me. You don't mez me. You don't win this fight. Hold on. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? I don't even have to shell and I win that fight. And that's not the end of the story either. Because what happened after was probably much worse. So I ripped it off. And obviously, like I said, I was bleeding a ton. So I was like dabbing every three seconds to make sure that I wasn't getting blood on my shirt. Um, then I saw what looked to be like a secondary pimple inside my first pimple. It was like white. And I was like, there's no shot. I just ripped this thing out of my face and there's still more okay and uh you know what I did <clears throat> well you know being a wrestler and all makes you kind of dim-witted to pain at least and so I took tweezers <clears throat> so I took tweezers in the already cut that I have on my lip and I, uh, and I shoved them in there. And I started digging around. And I shit you not. I was like this deep into my lip. Like, I like inwards. <laughs> Just digging around. And it hurt like a bitch. But you know what? I found out. I found out it wasn't a secondary pimple in there. It was just the skin that was split in two from when I ripped off my first pimpy. And then I was tweezing off the, the the skin anyways. That was in my cut. So I'm an idiot. And also uh, currently still in pain on my lip. But you would you couldn't even tell. And it's like it's like a little dot now. It's so small now. After what it was yesterday. So we're pogging. We are actually pogging. Anyways, I guarantee so many people clicked off this video already because they didn't want to hear about my pimpy story. But it was more so a story about not being as stupid as I am. But, you know. Hello, everyone. I'm back. I figured I would tell that story because it ended my stream yesterday and I feel like people have a right to know. <laughs> about why I ended my stream so abruptly. What the Fuck, when did this, this get taken? But anyways, now that we've weeded out the week, and I've gotten at least a thousand dislikes on this video already, let's, uh, let's just play some Try Hard Thursday, man. Let's just Try Hard Thursday it up. Obviously, I'm Tsukuyomi. You know, he's probably my favorite god to play right now. I actually enjoy playing him more than I enjoy playing Kronos. I saw you. Better run. Better run. Don't even act like you are okay, because I will kill you, friend. Alright. My two will clear the wave. Mostly. My one will clear this red for me. A couple auto attacks, obviously. Um, Fighting Apollo is... Honestly, not a bad matchup for me because if he mezzes me. Hold on. 
I didn't want him to do that blue. It's not a bad matchup for me because if he mezzes me, I can easily just keep engaging on him because I have my one, which is a massive slow, and my three that's also a slow, and my alt that has really good chase potential. So it's really hard for him to uh, <clears throat> actually get away. So I feel really good in this matchup. You don't scare me. Hello, hello. You don't scare me. Uh, I am curious. Yo, Silver Branch? What's good? I mean, I know it's a good item and all, but like, it's definitely not first item good. I don't know. 30 power and 30% attack speed is pretty good. But you're not getting any late game value out of that. I guess you are technically 20% pen. I don't know. I just feel like there's better items. That item's expensive, man. That item's expensive. Nice. Nice. He didn't respect me. That's the issue. He didn't put respect on my name. You're going to sit there and you're going to fake back or you're going to do whatever you got to do. That's fine. That's fine. You fake back. You take an auto or two and then keep backing. That's fine. But when I am staying there, smacking you upside the head constantly, you better not ignore me. You better not. Because I will kill you. In the game, of course. In real life, uh, who knows? Could always use some help. Where'd you go? Oh, back this way, huh? There you are. Yep. I was wondering. I was wondering where he went. He's got some tier 2 defense. Fine by me. I bet you he desperately wants Aegis. Very, very badly. I'm cool with this going to late game, by the way. I'm actually, like, not scared at all. I think my late game is phenomenal. Also, I went Hydra's. I don't know if Hydra's is really the best play. But... My next item is going to be Breastplate. I'm hoping that it works out. I'm just going to start this fight like this. Hmm. Hydra's auto wasn't enough. Okay, I definitely should not have done that. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. He doesn't have alt though, so that's good. Um, <clears throat> oh, he went bracer of radiance, extra power. Hmm. I don't know what I want yet. Second relic, like beads. Obviously, I'm sure beads would be amazing, but. But what if I didn't get B? I don't know, man. Also, by the way, uh, this is super important. La yesterday's videos, when Shiv was commentating, she was doing just that. She, she was commentating. She wasn't actually playing. A lot of people, for some reason, even though she said she doesn't know the items or anything, a lot of people said... They thought she was playing and that she did a really good job in the game and stuff. I was playing. She was just commentating. So, it, uh... Yeah, I, I don't know. The comments the comments really made it seem like y'all thought she was playing. I really just want to alt him. Mm. 
He's on my wave. Your middle tower is under attack. Um, <clears throat> okay, that's annoying. I guess what I will do is just face tank tower until I kill it because it's really what I'm going to have to do at this point. Very slowly whittle away tower. Okay. I'm not backing. All he had to do was stand still, man. All he had to do was stand still, but that was a perfect three. I mean, I had the entire... I had the entire... Uh, what is it called? Like, behind the tower. There's a word for it, but... I can't think of it right now. I don't know why. <clears throat> but I had the entire behind the tower covered. With that three. That was Sergut. Giving me this. If you alt me, I will kill you. Because I'm absolutely sure you do not win that fight. Unless you get, I don't know, Aegis. Didn't. He ulted to kill two melees. Whatever, I'll stay. I don't care. You literally do not scare me at all, my dude. I'm so far ahead. Holy crap. I'm actually very surprised he hasn't surrendered yet. Ow. An expert tracker could always use some help. Hmm. I am almost certain I will not win this. This bull demon. Never mind. He had alt, right? He had to have had alt. He has breastplate. He definitely had alt. Right? He had to. I don't know. <laughs> doesn't matter. I have beads now, and I just got my finished defensive item and a bead stick. So he's uh, definitely not feeling too great right now for this matchup. Hold my wave. See if I care. Good, bro. I don't know, man. I do not know. I don't think that fight was beneficial beneficial for you in any way. I like all thing my wave I understand, I guess. In the sense that like it is gonna take me longer to get this Phoenix down, but you're never gonna stop me from getting the Phoenix down, so Dying for Phoenix is not worth it. Ever. Dying for Phoenix is never worth it. Now he's going Oboe, which is going to help his clear quite a bit because he, well, quite frankly, will need it with fire minions. I'm level 20, so I can get upgraded Blue Stone. 
Um. Hmm. I don't know, man. Alright, I want him hitting me instead of the wave because it lets my minions get in there and do some good damage. How much HP you got? 3k? Not bad. Not bad damage. I am slowly being poked out by that oboe. Not too much damage though. Oh man, he thought he would be able to get away with his alt, but nope. No sorry, Bob. I got beads this time. You are not mezzing me. GG. It was a good first game. Actually, 15 minute long game. He, he held his own a bit. Like he, he defended for, uh, he defended that tower for a little while extra than I thought he would be able to. So good stuff, man. Good stuff. GG. Hope you guys enjoyed game one. I will see you guys in game number two. Yo, what's up, boys? Welcome back to game number two. My mic working? It is good. Okay. Welcome back to game number two. Fighting a circuit. Weird. Mr. Cupcake one. It's weird that I'm fighting a circuit, but you know, whatever. Is what it is. I guess people like fighting circuit. You know, look at I'm, I'm not going to be the weird one that says, no, you can't do that. Also, I'm going to go Burst Kali because I think I have a lot more fun playing Burst Kali than I do other kind of Kalis. Um, honestly, this should do well. I don't know, man. I don't know. If you're wondering, Burst Kali is basically just Transcendence with Hydras and then Crit Chance. You're getting your power from Transcend Hydras. You're going one defensive item and then you're going Rage and Deathbringer. Um, you don't really have a lot of pen in the build, but you do have the 10% from the Hydras. And if you want to forego your defensive item, you can get a whole ass 30% pen with Serrated Edge, which might be what I do this game. I'm not really sure. But, um, yeah, either way, that's the build I like doing. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. All right, he did blue buff. Either mine or his, I don't know which one. I guess his, because he came up from over there. He went bluestone. I was thinking about doing bluestone start, but I don't know. It's it's iffy, because I like bluestone, but late game... Late game Kali, like, if I go crit chance, which I, like I said, I plan on doing, uh, then it's just better to have Boombas, you know? Oh, how did my jump not hit? That is unlucky. That is unlucky. I'm actually not even going to get my... my ult yet. I don't think I need it. So this, get a little bit of health and mana back. And keep putting the pressure on. Keep putting the pressure on. Okay. Just running. I think it's fine. I mean, honestly, like, I I don't really think he's gonna kill me or anything here. I will grab my ult just in case, but... My damage is so much better than his. Granted, I have red buff, but still. Mm. 
I actually think I can I can greed. I actually think that I can greed because um as mobile as he is, there's no way he tanks an entire minion wave and kills me with no alt through my shell. So I am feeling pretty safe. Uh, you're gonna I thought he was gonna jump on me there. Not quite fast enough. Not quite fast enough. I'm only a couple hundred gold away from trans. I wish I could stay. I wish I could have greeted one more wave, but that, that would have been ignorant. Greeting that last wave that I did greet was ignorant, as is. Doing it one more time would be straight up dumb. Is that clear backline yet? No. Alright. Doing the same build as me, but you know, not invincible. I don't dude, I I I really do not understand these alts at all. Like there's so many different things you could be doing than those alts. Go ahead, jump on me. I really thought you were gonna die that time. Ah, uh, bummer. Bummer. Alright. You actually gonna back? You warded. You warded in stealth. Don't act like I didn't hear you. Don't act like I didn't hear you, Mr. Cupcake. I got expensive ass gamer ears. No, they're not really. I mean, this headset is. I've been using the same headset, not sponsored, by the way. I've been using the same the oh god, the same headset for nine years, and it's a uh, oh man, Logitech G four thirty. I think it's a something G four thirty. I don't know if it's Logitech or not, but. If it's a Corsair, I don't know, but I, it's $40. It's a $40 headset. And every time it breaks, I just rebuy it. I've bought like 10 pairs of them over the course of the nine years, many times because I've, I broke them myself, not because they actually broke. Um, like I threw them or I, uh, you know, did something not very nice. And I like sat on them or I chucked them on the ground when I was playing a scary game or something. I don't know. A lot of times I just accidentally broke my headset. I've had actually the same pair. Knock on wood for like. Two years almost. Maybe three. I've become more docile. Shh. Oh my. Oh my god. That damage dude. I'm telling you like. Power Kali is nice. Power Kali is nice. You guys should try him out. Now, I'm not a huge advocate for Kali in general because she is uh, annoying to fight. But you know what? For this one time, I implore you, go lock in Kali. Go Transcendence into Hydras and watch the damage fucking fly. Because all of Kali's abilities or, or autos are like auto cancels. Oh, it didn't die to the two. But look at that. That's three auto attacks. Okay, apparently it was five auto attacks. No, it was three. Yeah, it was three auto attacks for 700 damage. And he has tier one defense. It's absurd. Oh, you are my last minion. You don't scare me at all, my dude. Dude, I swear that meditation is mad annoying. Oh, you're dead. Nice. Nice. That was a sick two. 
I stop moving because I always assume he's going to die. Like, I assume he's going to die to my jump every single time. And then he doesn't die. And I sit there like a dumbass because meditation saved his life like four times already. It's okay, though. Archer's got his Towie. I got my red buff here. I obviously already got his blue buff. My damage is insane. I knew he was going to try to do the corner thing. The Cirque Head corner too. My next item, like I said, could be Breastplate. But I think I'm just going to skip the Breastplate and I'm going to go Crit Chance. I'm going to go Rage. Or I could go Serrated. They're both great. I mean, obviously my next three items, if I'm not going Defense, are going to be Rage, Deathbringer, Serrated. Um, what order I purchase them in, I don't think matters too much. Obviously, the earlier you get Rage, the better because of the fact that any kill or assist you get stacks your crit chance up. But, I mean, I, if I can afford a Deathbringer straight up, I'm going to do that, right? Like, that will do. it's just smarter. It's 30% crit chance, too. So, like, Rage and Deathbringer have the same crit chance now. I don't know if you guys knew that. They're both 30%, but Deathbringer has an extra 20 power on it. But Rage's passive is, uh, you know, extra crit chance, whereas Deathbringer's is more damage. So, I don't know. I I don't really know. Like, Rage obviously would give me more crit chance in the end game, but it's going to be 60% anyways, which is more, more often critting than not critting. So, in my opinion, that's fine. I suck, by the way. He's being very careful. With, uh, with, <clears throat> excuse me, with Hydra's Transcendence and Deathbringer, this Bull Demon is going to fall to bits very, very quick. Okay. 10 auto attacks for 3,700 damage. Yeah, that's fair. Average of 370 damage per auto. I don't really care if you clear that wave. I saw you there, but... I cannot be bothered. Reason I use my three here, by the way, is not for the Hydra's Park. It's for the extra uh, power you get from your three. I just got one stray auto there for like just a ton of damage. I was going to go a little bit harder there and jump on him, but then with his jump away, I'm pretty sure he's safe. The Raider would be nice because it would be some lifesteal too, I suppose. I don't know. You got to deal with fire minions, my boy. That is certainly not something you are ready for. There's a circuit with one damage item that's not even fully stacked 11 minutes in. Not having trans stacked 11 minutes in is rough, dude. That, that's, that is definitely on the bad side of fun, which means it's not fun, by the way. I don't know why he said it like that. Hello? That one... That one auto did 700 damage. And he has defense and I have no pen. I mean, well, I have 10% pen, but... Oh, my God, dude. My God. I could have ended, by the way. I, I know. Okay. That was 800 damage. I could have ended. I could have ended. Um, Do I go serrated or do I go rage? Hmm. I think I'm going to go Rage. A fair choice. I'm going to go Rage. And I, I have enough gold to get this too. Because my thought process took too long. But my thought process is... 60% crit chance. I'm hitting that 700 damage. Multiple times per fight, right? That's not that's not a one-time deal. Because every time I, I auto... I, like, I, I hit that thing for however much. Every time I auto... It's going to do that 700 damage because I'm resetting my auto chain 
every single time I auto attack. Like auto, two, auto, three, auto. And every single time it's with Kali's auto attack chain, it does the one instead of the 0.5. So I'm going to be doing that 700 damage three or four times per fight. So getting that crit chance up is actually more important than getting the pen up, I think. At least currently. Fine. Don't scare me. I just want to see how fast I can burst him here. Hey. Okay. Two auto attacks for 1100 damage. Yup. Just Kali things. Burst Kali is super fun. I, I I do think you should go. You should queue up. You should try a Burst Kali game. It's very fun to play and very rewarding when you hit that, that auto attack cancel, which does make you learn auto attack cancels for future games. Um, I'll see you guys in game number three. I don't know. Nothing else to say here. I'll just see you game three. Yo, what's going on? Sexy Samaletta squad game number three or four. I don't quite remember. We're 40 minutes in, so it seems like it would be game four. But maybe the games have been long. I don't actually remember. All I know is that I'm awesome. Okay. And because I'm awesome, I'm playing Kamazot. Uh, all right. So Kamazot 2 is a massive slow. Lasts for infinite time. So Runeforge is actually not bad on him. So I will be going Bluestone Runeforge start. Is it amazing? No, but it's it's good. It's good. You don't need amazing in every start, right? Like this slow lasts for close them for three seconds and then carries the heal back. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's massive. I have three seconds. I hit the two and then I burst him down with everything else. And, uh, he's not feeling too hot. Now I will say he's going to have mannequins. So he'll probably out trade the Christ out of me, but, uh, you know what I'm going to do about that? I'm not, I'm not going to do anything. Actually, I'm just going to go do my own blue. He's going to probably try to jump on me. Are you jumping on me? He double chalice? Oh, we got we got new mugs. I don't know if you can see that. Hold on. They, yeah, they're all they are awesome. One second, babe. Oh. Well, there's two mugs that she got. I'll pause. There's two mugs she got. She just got back from Target. So, um, this one says it's official. You're awesome. And this one says, "Hello, gorgeous." I don't know if you can see that one. There you go. Huh? Get them away. Hey. Hey, gorgeous. And mac and cheese. <laughs> all right. All right. Back to the game. He got red buff. I got blue buff. I got two stacks of my passive, which is very, very good. He has double chalice, which makes me think he's 600 gold behind me. Which makes me think that he's nowhere even close. Wait, how the hell is he level four when I'm not? I'm super curious. I don't win these fights, do I? I'm pretty sure I don't win these fights yet. Uh, I don't know. Hitting my one is a massive swing. For me. <clears throat> hmm. Oh shit, I'm dead. Okay, I'm not dead. Nice. Massive kill. Actually, a massive kill. Let's fucking go, dude. Alright, I was saving my ult. I knew I had to put a point in it, but I was saving to use my ult until after he uh, he got five and used his ult. Because I know for a fact, if I ulted before him, I'm dead. If I ult before him, I'm dead. So, nice. Good stuff, good stuff. How much is this? 1750, right? So I need to greed one more wave and I'm chilling. I actually think that I can greed one more wave. Ah, I missed my one. I have blue buff, so like I'm kind of okay. I just gotta not get hit by the. Never mind. 
Oh, you do not win this, my dude. You do not win jumping in like that after having no two. I don't know who you think you is, but you is not that. Okay. Just still down. I can go get my Rune Forge now. I'm almost thinking, what if I don't go Rune Forge because I'm I'm kind of hitting the bed with the Rune Forge gameplay. Nice, huge kill. Let's go. That's two of them. That's two of them. Um, I'm actually gonna switch up my strat a little bit, and I'm just gonna go straight breastplate right now. I'm gonna switch up the strat and go straight breastplate. I know it's a little weird because I want to go runeforged, but I'm missing the two, and he's prioritizing juking the two over the one, even though I'm maxing the one first. And by the way, the reason I'm maxing the one first is because the one gives you so much power, um, which will actually allow me to go into breastplate first item. It's the whole reason I'm allowed to. Because catching the one gives me 25 power now. Obviously, you want your sting. I'm not stupid. You just used all of your abilities, so I should be chilling. Unless you want to come alt this, which, you know, wouldn't be bad for you, but it wouldn't be great. All right, with full breastplate, I am, I am completely vibing. I am just completely on vibe territory. You jump, do whatever you want. I don't care. I can face tank your alt completely. Shelled. I don't know, man. I really do not know what's happening here. I do not know what's happening here. Like I said, though, my one giving me this much power is really just uh, allowing me to go breastplate for free. So there's two ways you can build Kamazots, and I know I've said this before, but I'll say it again. There's two ways to build Kamazot. So one way. Hold on. I want to kill him. One way is um, by doing what I'm doing right now, which is going tanky and leveling your one first. The other way is going damage and leveling your two. So clearly, I mean... Clearly, I like leveling the two first. I like leveling the two and going damage, but I don't know. Against an on-her player, I'm a little bit skittish, so I want to just know. I want to do what I absolutely know will work, and what I absolutely know will work is defense, 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 maxing the one, and then uh, building some damage afterwards. I will say my clear sucks ass because I only get that buff. I only get the power buff if I hit him with my one. Not if I use it, just in general. But you can see my, my damage output and my tankiness, like, it's just... It's absurd. Yeah, I just took 13 tower shots and the entire 8 rounds of his ultimate and his jump and walked away. It's, uh... It's insane. It's insane what this god can do when he when he's built correctly. When, when his leveling order and his build work off each other. You might notice that I am just picking up blue buffs instead of uh, red buff at all. He just stole, he sold everything he had to get breastplate after he just died. Okay. Turns out I'm trash. I'm fort. But yeah, he sold everything he had for breastplate just now. Um, this clear is not gonna be good. I missed. Hit the power buff though. 
By the way, that power buff lasts for like 15 seconds. That shit's insane. Hello. I want him to think he can fight me. I really, really want him to think he can fight me. Oh, I feel like that one should have hit. Whatever, it's fine. Mm. Oh, darn. All right. <clears throat> All right. Uh, what am I going to go? I want some penetration now. I have a decent amount of cooldown. I guess I could just go serrated. 20% pen, a little bit more lifesteal. I mean, he's obviously going beat stick, but it's going to take him a while to get there. So 20% pen, a little bit of lifesteal and a lot of power. My cooldowns are pretty long, man. I'm not the ability spammer I once was. Oh, good block. I don't know, man. Yeah, I, I mean, I just took 2300 damage from tower alone. I don't really care if you kill me or not. I'm getting this Phoenix. Oh my god, dude. This is... This is a slaughter. This should not be legal. My goodness. Well, you know what? It does feel good. A bit of Kamazot's action actually working out. It was nice. Yo. You act like I care about anything you do to me? Yeah, you good? Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that lifesteal, dude. This is so incredible. Munch up some healing real quick. I want him to think that he's got me, you know? I want him to think that I'm I'm Dunzo McGillicuddy. But nope. I'm back, bitch. No. He doesn't even think I'm Dunzo McGillicuddy. I just regen to full HP doing absolutely fucking nothing. Hello. Did you just try to pillar your titan? That's not how that works. Alright. GG. 8 kills. 11 and a half minutes. And uh, 4,000 gold up. Actually, more than 4,000 gold up. That's ridiculous. Getting two chalices is horrible, by the way. I just want everyone to know that. He bought two chalices, and I want to tell you, never, ever in duel start with two chalices. You're setting yourself behind way too much. You're setting yourself behind an entire tier one item. It's 600 gold that you're never going to get back for the rest of the game. And yeah, it might be worth it financially, but you're missing out on so much early game pressure. It's ridiculous. Don't ever do it. Anyways, that's game three or four. I don't know. I will see you guys in the next one. What's up, boys? Last game of the video. More than likely, I'm playing Bastet versus Kamazots. I wonder if this is going to be the same guy... Oh my god, it's Sam for Soccer 2, and he's playing Kamazots.
Okay. So you got two Sams battling it out. One who's a pro jungler. And the other is Sam for soccer too. <laughs> what a stinker, dude. What a stinker. I will grab this and this and this. Uh, meditation is good because I need mana, but... Actually, you know what? I think I want to go Tainted Steel. Let me take that I think I want to go Tainted hands. Steel and then Jotun's and this and this and go this. So my clear is not going to be the greatest. It's not going to be hot awesomeness, but who knows? What if he's going to go Boomba's? Boomba's cam is very good, so he'll probably, he'll probably whip it out. Boomba's... Bluestone and horrific. What the hell? Talk about weird. Let's see. Wonder if he's gonna invade here. No, just doing your red buff. All right. Sounds good to me. Totally cool with this. Okay, horrific. Ouch. Hmm. You almost had me. You almost had me. I'll take more where those came from. Not quite though. Not quite. I will say tainted steel going tainted steel early is really bad for my my early game but it's really good for my late game so it's worth it it's just not worth it yet mm -hmm. place a trap here just in case all right you got your two or no nope doesn't even back yet actually I probably can't kill though I'm just gonna jump away. Fair play. Gonna stay. Mm. Not really enough to clear. Well, that feels really bad. I won two combo, even with three points in my two, doesn't even kill backline. That does not feel good. But you know what? It's okay. I just gotta play for late game. He has horrific now, so keep that in mind. Yep. He jumped because he wants to bait me into getting horrific. Your middle tower is under attack. <laughs> I know you guys can't see what Shiv just said in my in my Twitch chat. But she said. Dude, the videos yesterday got 1.5 and 1.1k likes. Honestly, just move over. <laughs> Respectable. Respectable. <laughs> That's funny. Nice. You are going to have to ult. Still might die. Oh no, you move very fast in your ult. Jeez Louise. All right, that's fine. Both alts are down, but uh, he's definitely in the better position, I think. Okay. You're backing, right? You're not gonna, you're not gonna go for the crazy play, the blue steel. 
He just might, honestly. I don't know. I have no mana, so things are a bit weird at the moment. I'm going to go breastplate now. And uh, potion, potion. Like I said, all I'm doing right now is trying to live. I'm trying not to fall too far behind. Um, Killing him is probably never going to happen because of my Tainted Steel, like I said. But late game, when this Tainted Steel becomes important, I'm going to be very glad I have it. Now, Beat Stick plus Tainted Steel is 55% anti-heal, so that's very, very nice. Um... Okay, yeah, you're gonna horrific me, but you, there's no way you kill me here. Literally, ever. Very weird horrific from, from his part, I think. Oh, you are dead to that? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That is unlucky. Oh, man. I am getting so close with these snipes. You better not. That was that was straight up greed from you. Straight up greed. You only make that play if you assume I miss. Which, you know, obviously he assumed I missed, so... Or he assumed that I would miss, not that I did miss. Um, I'm actually not gonna go chalice because I need to keep as much gold on hand as possible, in, in hand as possible. Going um, chalice would be good for Lakin, but it's not good right now. And I know, like I'm saying, I'm good for Lakin with tainted steel, but I can't only focus on late game, or else nothing is gonna work. I need to have some sort of decent early game in order to maintain relevancy until late. The whole point. I got that missed. That would have hurt. You're too kind. Awesome red buff for me. Uh, you do not win this fight. Unless I miss my big auto twice, like I did. Kind of cringe. Well played on his part. Amazing jump. I'm dead. I fucked that up. I fucked that one up. But you know what? It happens. Honestly, I used my two too quickly there. When he when he dove me with his alt, I should have known that he was just gonna not. He wasn't gonna fucking kill himself against me. Like he's obviously gonna try to juke my my two. I should have known and not used my two immediately. Bad play on my part. And that puts me pretty far behind. He is going to have a lot of cooldown now. He goes from no cooldown to 30% very quickly. Do you have? Oh, you have max cooldown. Peace. No cooldown to max cooldown, just like that, huh? Crazy. Um, the two Yoans is pretty far away. All right, decent damage. Not great damage, but decent. I'm going to grab this. Second relic, I'm not sure yet. He grabbed shell. 
thinking maybe thorns. I don't know. I think I'm being followed. <laughs> He's actually backing right now. I would like a soul eater. He has no anti heal yet. Then again, I I have a deceptive amount of life steal in my kit, so. Oh, how did I miss that? That is super cringe. Jesus. He sees me, obviously. I, ca I can't go over there. He will kill the shit out of me. Oh, he missed everything. Interesting. You do have horrific, I'm not stupid. But you do take that tower shot. Do you die? Oh, you shelled when you landed. I think he shelled when he landed. I think I saw blue. I don't know if that blue was something else or if it was the shell. Hmm. I'm just gonna go Aegis. Damn, I'm really far behind now. Your middle tower has been destroyed. Your life seal is insane, dude. Your life seal is insane, my guy. Even with uh me having beat stick and tainted. All right, well, we're kind of even right now. I mean, I just don't really know what my next item is here. I'm thinking I go like Berserker Shield. Like I go something tanky. Um, I jumped away. He's probably doing bull demon, honestly. Oh, he's not. He got serrated. Oh, that's a weird play. I mean, I guess it's not that weird. I literally played Kamazos just a second ago and I got serrated on him, but I don't know. In the XP camp. Oh, uh, poop. killed me here damn dude he's got so much healing and i feel like i have you know with beat stick and tainted i should it shouldn't matter how much healing he has with his two and his three but he's actually just out healing all the damage i'm doing 
Because I did do quite a bit just now. Not enough. Your middle phoenix is under attack. There's not enough. Your middle hmm. phoenix has been destroyed. Dude, look at that. With beat stick, his three heals and full HP. Insane. Jeez, dude. Your Crazy. I don't know, man. Really want to get this. I'm gonna go serrated myself here. Does my one not actually proc? Or not my one, I'm sorry, my three. Does it not actually proc my beat stick? I don't know. I don't know if it does or doesn't. This is a very intense game, though. That's all I know. He really, really, really wants to win here. And I really, really, really would love him not to. He's getting beat stick now. He's getting beat stick. I have my tainted now, so who knows, man? Who knows? This is not bad. Thanks for the donation. Um, please tell me I can keep my Phoenix. Please. Nice. Shut your 
Nice. Let's go, dude. I kept the Phoenix. I might be able to get his too. Jesus. I don't know. Going to Bull Demon. Um. Let me take that off your hands. As much as I don't like him doing Bull Demon, there is absolutely nothing I can do. I could easily backdoor him, but I feel like I owe him not backdooring. I feel like I owe him a genuine game. So we'll see. I really don't want him to have red buff, obviously. was massive for me. Um, okay. Do I win the game off that? Hell yeah, I do. Let's go. Let's go. The Sanford Soccer Camazots. Dude, the Tainted Seal came in so clutch late game. Like when he couldn't heal, when he couldn't heal through it is... When I started actually winning the fights. That was such a good game. Holy shit. <laughs> GG. GG. What a good game. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, obviously make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you're commenting down below what you want to see in the future. And uh, until next time, guys. Peace.